Hey everybody, hey, are you getting tired of these emails, these spam emails that you're getting? Some of them don't make any sense, it's just gibberish. And some of them are somewhat convincing. I got one the other day that wanted me to click on a YouTube link about having a forever young skin without plastic surgery. So I didn't click on it, but I was tempted. Also, do you remember that Nigerian Prince email scam? Well, I just read an article that is still grossing over $700,000 a year with that scam. And I don't know who wrote that, but they should look into how that person found out what they were making. Um, not sure. Maybe he's in on it. That's my conspiracy theory on that one. Um, this tutorial that you're about to see isn't about how to start an email scamming business, but it's... a it's about how to get rid of some of these annoying emails that keeps ending up in your inbox. And I'm talking about those that are specifically coming from bots that are filling out your forms on your website. So you ready for this? Um, it's going to be super quick and super easy. So just follow along. Let's do this. So I'm going to start off this tutorial with where everybody else starts off. Um, that is in their Google search. And I'm going to go ahead and Google search reCAPTCHA, as you can see here. And you get this link. I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. And it's going to get me here. And I know it's asking for admin console. If you already have a Google or Gmail email, um, it's going to ask you for that login. And it's going to get you right into this screen. And as you can see here, you hit the plus sign. Um, to create your reCAPTCHA, you label it, label it anything you want. And right here, you put in the domain that's being affected. So mybosstutor.com. This is also where you can go and click on your email's uh, ownership. And you can actually send it to either yourself or a different email you want it on there. You can add as many as you need. And then accept the reCAPTCHA's terms of service and go ahead and submit it's going to get you into this screen where it gives you two things a site key and the secret key from this point what you want to do is you want to go to your website and i'm going to show you on this website where the form is located right here and i'm going to go into the dashboard and usually on these type of contact forms um, it's built out of contact form 7 and then go ahead and click on that. You will see three things, the contact forms, add new and integration. Go ahead and click on integration. It's going to get you on this screen with the reCAPTCHA and go ahead and click on that. Set up integration. Uh, it's going to give you the site key and the secret key. Where have you seen this before? Let's go back to your Google page and copy and paste into its location. As you can see here, go ahead and save the changes and you are done okay let's check out the website um, let's go back to the sample page and only thing you'll see different is that you see that logo on the lower right corner it's a badge saying you are protected i know some of us are looking at this and aren't too crazy about this badge sitting there on your website on the lower right corner at all times on all pages so we do have an option to hide it and uh, this is a special code um, that I'm going to show you guys that we can we can add it to the custom CSS and we can we can hide that. And let me show you how to do that real quick. So first thing you want to do is you want to go back to the dashboard, click on appearance, click on customize. And under there, you see an additional CSS um, option. Go ahead and click on that. And if you don't have anything else written on there, you can just go in and copy and paste this code. I'll put it on the uh, notes below. And once that's saved, here we go. We're looking at it and it is gone. What, what it does is, is takes that badge, makes it an opacity of zero. So you can completely see through it invisible. So that's the code. That's the special code. And um, yeah, just go ahead and use that. That's a little trick that we use and uh, it'll be gone but it'll still be well protected so just so, just so you know this is not going to eliminate 100 percent of spam emails but it will it will filter a lot of it out for you so 
Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or share this video. Have a great week. Ciao for now.